guys, welcome back. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've been away for the week and I've come back to a fair bit of mail, so I thought I would do an unboxing video. I'm super excited to see what's in there because normally I'll get home and rip the boxes straight open, but as I had quite a few of them, I thought it'd be quite exciting just to do a little video on what I received. So let's get straight to it. I wonder what's in here because this one is in a brown paper bag, so can't be anything that's fragile. Do you do that at Christmas? Try and work out what you got before you've opened it. Let's see. Who recognises this packaging? So this is from Kristin Louboutin. How gorgeous is this packaging? I received their lip glosses in the summer which I shared on my Instagram page and the packaging is the same so this is beautiful. I've got no idea what it's going to be so let's open it. It's like I'm wrapping an actual present in it with this. Mm -hmm. oh, that was amazing. Discover dramatic volume, enhanced definition, length, lift and curl. So I'm going to assume it's a mascara. I don't understand the purpose of the paper. It's just folded up. It doesn't, it's not doing anything. It's weird. It feels really nice. It looks pretty. Black and gold with the black and red. I bet it's so expensive as well. It's really, really heavy. Ooh. So it's a mascara and it's got a really short wand. Look how short that is. And it's a comb type of wand at the tip. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I'm very, very interested. I'm not sure you'd wanna carry it around in your bag because that is so heavy. I might actually weigh it and I'm gonna put on screen how much that weighs. And then we've got another one, which is an ink liner. Wow, it's so dramatic, isn't it? It's kind of like gothic. You could literally take someone's eye out with that see what it's like. I think it might actually be like a dark green. It's called Lady Twist. It is very beautiful packaging. Again, really heavy, not something you would carry around but would look beautiful on your side table. You'll see up close that it's not a very thin tip, which I'm personally not so much a fan of. I like something that goes to a really fine point so you can get a really crisp, defined line. I can rub my hand over it, doesn't smudge, doesn't move, doesn't wear, hasn't affected it at all. So I reckon the wear of it and the quality is going to be really lovely. Okay, so next up we have a package. So this is from Giorgio Armani. This is their face fabric foundation. I've not tried this yet. Okay, so let's have a look at what this one looks like. So, you're familiar with the Armani Luminous Silk, which is one of my favourite foundations. And then I was recommended to try the face fabric, which was brought back by popular demand because Kim Kardashian famously tweeted Giorgio Armani spelling his name wrong, asking to bring back the face fabric. So the packaging itself is okay, it's in a squeezy tube which I prefer because it means you can get everything out of it. The glass bottles I always find you get some wastage in there. The only thing I've noticed with the two samples I've got is they are very very dark in shade. I try to match them compared to the luminous silk shades and although somebody said that they were very similar, in actual fact mine aren't so maybe it's just the colours I've chosen but for me, they're definitely quite dark. But it says they're like a second skin makeup, so I'm going to assume that you get a light to medium coverage, but once I try it, I'll let you know. And if you'd like to see a tutorial using it, then let me know. This one looks like a football. I can't imagine anyone would send me a football. This is how I wrap presents for the kids. <laughs> Cruel. I haven't actually tried anything from Huda Beauty yet, so this will be interesting. I love the packaging. It's so unusual having it in this kind of diamond shape. Gorgeous. Got all the different pictures of her around in completely different styles. Huda Beauty Precious Stones Obsessions. Step into the world of opulence with our brand new Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. Eee, look! Oh, I love that. Cute. They're so tiny little palettes, which is ideal because you can just put those in your bag and take them with you. Ideal for travelling. <gasps> oh, I love it. How amazing is that? all autumnal shades so you've got a mix of matte finishes in there and kind of like chunky metallic finishes love those colors makes me want to get pumpkins out and just decorate the house so this one is ruby obsessions and that one was topaz i'm not even a massive fan of wearing pink shades but this just makes me want to slap it all over my face I'm super excited to try these out this one is amethyst it's just so pretty and I just absolutely love how tiny these are. This one is sapphire blue, so I already know I'm going to be obsessed with it. Blue is just stunning. Look at all those different shades. 
cobalt, teal, even like a lime shade. So this is emerald. It's probably not my favourite out of all of them, but I still love it. If you'd like another green look, let me know, because it's been a while since I've done one. Out of all of them, let me know which one is your favourite. I love that when you get products from PR companies, they come with a press release so you can find out a bit of information about the product. So these are the new OPV highlighters made with a cream based formula. So we have Stardust, Gold Digger and Glamorous. So overall these are really nice. This brand has been around for quite some time now. The only thing that bothers me about it, the fact that it's called opvhair.com and they're trying to bring out makeup so it kind of is a little bit confusing I just feel like it's not completely polished but that's just my personal opinion and I'm not saying that they're not doing a great job because they are they've come on leaps and bounds since when they first come about and I think they're gonna do well it just needs a little bit of refinement I just don't know if at this stage I would pay 18 pound for a highlighter I know who this heavy package is from because it's got a giveaway sticker on the side which says the makeup armory which is one of my favorite favorite stores in the world because they sell all special effects makeup. They've kindly sent me a package for Halloween for me to start doing my Halloween tutorials which I started in July by the way. I just love them. Everything that you could need for special effects makeup they do. They've got some fantastic brands on their store and I will link everything in the description bar for you. So the first thing we've got is Sculpt Gel. Oh, it's so handy when you don't have time to cast someone's face or time to sculpt anything. You can do a thing with this product. It's so so good. You've basically got parts A, B and C and A and B you mix together in equal parts that will form a silicone that gives you five possibly ten minute working time depending on how warm or cool your room is. Part C is going to give you that softness, give you that flexibility to the product. The next thing we've got are some temporary tattoos. This is ideal if like you want to go out at Halloween, you've got a party to go to but you don't really like getting too involved. Okay, this is interesting. This is a little glass skull where his head's cut off. It's like a dappen dish, it's got measurements on the side. This is going to be so cool for me at Halloween because I'm constantly needing to dip my brushes into products such as alcohol or acetone and it's themed for Halloween. A vinyl ball cap. These are my absolute favourite when it comes to ball caps. You get different kind of materials. For me vinyl gives you the most realistic appearance. It is quite soft and it can break easily so if you've got fingernails and stuff keep them short when you're using these. Latex ball caps are cheaper to use but they don't give you that really kind of natural finish to the edge. These can be blended away to nothing. These are so good and I have a tutorial coming up for Halloween with this in use. Next up we've got some Krylon Liquid Latex in Clear. Another great product for Halloween. You can never go wrong with using a little bit of latex to give yourself a burn. You can use it with tissue on your face to create a zombie. A little word of warning, it does smell a bit like fish which isn't too attractive. But that does wear off once it dries. <laughs> we have some Ben Nye Spirit Gum. If you're using something like putty or wax and you need it to stick to the skin or a wig for instance, then you can use Spirit Gum. We have some Prosade. I love Prosade, great for sticking down prosthetic pieces. You can buy pre-made ones online for Halloween and you can use this to apply it. It's great for sensitive skin, it's great for everybody. If you want to see how I use gelatin, then check out my Snow White tutorial because I used it there, I'm pretty sure. This is something you heat up in the microwave it smells so florally scented I don't know why it's like that but if you buy some pre-made molds you can heat this up and pour it into the mold and it will take the shape and then that piece can be applied directly into the skin or you can heat it up use a spatula and then when it's not too hot apply it to the skin and you can create burns you can create boils you can create all different types of fun wounds and effects to the skin so this is Certify. You'll see I used one of them last year on my mirror mirror on the wall tutorial and I've just used one for my Tinkerbell look which was one that she brought out just recently so this must be another new one. So this is called the Destiny palette and the quote is sometimes you have to fall before you fly. It's a really lovely quote. She has quite good continuity with her packaging so you know it's her palette because they all look really similar and everything she does is super pigmented. Look at this palette. I like that it's a flip case, it's magnetised so it stays shut and it's super lightweight which is handy because you can just put it in your bag and you're good to go. We have 
the NARS bundle. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a little eyeshadow palette. I love the tones of this. Beautiful for kind of everyday wear. You've got a matte finish, two satin finishes, and then like a metallic finish. Next we have Singapore. Oh, this is pretty. Especially if we are now in autumn. We have two kind of almost duochrome glittery finish eyeshadows, a metallic and then a satin finish, all kind of warmly champagne gold shades and one burgundy raspberry shade. So I have three sets here of eyeshadow duos, got a mix of colours. So the top one is like a plummy colour and kind of like a pinky champagne. Then we've got a kind of cool tone grey and then a slightly more intense denim shade. And then at the bottom we have a nice peachy tone with a peachy taupe. These are little magnetic palettes which are really cool because you can just pop your finger and push the colour out so you can replace it with a different shade. Tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base. This is in the shade medium. It's a really nice creamy soft consistency with a little bit of colour to it. it. Comes out like a skin tone shade but it blends away to practically nothing. You get quite a bit in this as well and it's got a doe foot applicator. And then next up we have two of the new NARS Brow Perfectors. I'm so excited to try these. My favourite is the Diego Della Palma one. Sometimes I'll go in and they don't have it in stock in M&S. So these are really similar to the ones we know and love from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The tops of these also twist to access the pencil and a spoolie on the end. I have a medium cool brown and medium brown warm. Next we've got this bright pink box. Wow, it's soap and glory. How flipping cute is this? Look, oh my gosh, look. Oh, it smells like marzipan. I could have done with this last week on my holiday. <laughs> it's got a beautiful little tie on it as well. I feel like I wanna go shopping now with my plastic bag like Barbie. Let's see what's in here. If you've never smelt soap and glory stuff, then I can't even talk to you because it is phenomenal. So this is their The Way She Smooths Softening Body Lotion. I'm just going to go straight for it and open the whole thing up to sniff it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even describe it. Maybe like mango. What is the scent? Ah, papaya. Okay, so a refreshing hydrating blend with mango, coconut oils, papaya, passion fruit and algae extracts. It smells a little bit like, and this is going to sound like it's not a nice smell, but it flipping well is. Remember the dollies you used to get when you was a kid, but but fruity dollies. I don't know. I don't know where my mum shopped for my dollies. So then we have Bubble in Paradise. This is a refreshing body wash. When you've come out the shower and you've used Soap and Glory, you can smell it all flipping day. It's so nice. This is incredible. I'm so excited. Please tell me this is a fragrance. Please tell me this is a fragrance. It's a moisturising body oil. Pretty much a fragrance. Oh, so fruity. It's definitely more subtle than the bottles. But if you've bathed in that and then used your body lotion and then sprayed this, you're going to smell like heaven. Ooh, this is so nice. Mac. So we have the new Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I've been wanting to try this. Have you guys tried it? What is it like? Let me know because I haven't used it yet. As you can see, I've just opened it. I've got the shade NC25. And then I've also got the Shape and Shade Brow Tint. I've seen a few people talking about this. Very much looking forward to trying this. I have the shade Taupe. So this one is a pen. I don't like the other end of it. That side is a tint, but it's got one of those stupid applicators on it, which I will never ever use, and I don't understand why they create them like that. This reminds me of the... Suku pens, which I use a lot for people that are slightly more mature or have zero eyebrow hair because you don't want anything that's too intense. This reminds me of that. I've put it in my hand, you can't even see it, but if you build it up through the eyebrows, it's so natural and it just gives you those kind of tiny hair-like strokes. It's just incredible, so I'm really excited to try these. <clears throat> this one is the biggest one. This is from NYX. So this is their Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Matte Foundation. Can't wait to see what this is like. Ooh, you've got a sample there of all the different shades available. 
Okay, so if my maths is correct, there's about 45 different shades available in this foundation. Wow. This must be the four sizes that we've got. I have been given medium olive, soft beige, and natural. That's cute. So here we've got a can't stop, won't stop primer, but because it's currently out of stock, they can't put it in the package, so they've put kind of a IOU in there. There's also a makeup sponge. So this was available on the 11th of September, which is the day I went away, so it must have arrived when I left, and that'll be why the timer's stopped. Such an array, and they're evenly split between cool tones, warm tones, and neutral undertones. Every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage that stays true for up to 24 hours. But it doesn't stop there, this foundation is waterproof, non-comedogenic, which means it doesn't clog your pores, and is suitable for normal, oily, combination, and sensitive skin types. So I've got another one here. So this is the new Zoeva Premier Collection. Isn't that pretty? It's like that artist that does all the work with the dots. I guess it's all inspired by the 20s. So Zoeva collections often come with a set of brushes, blush and an eyeshadow palette. So this is their blush palette. Mangoey tangerine shade, got a gold highlighter and then we've got a kind of blush tone and that's kind of shot through with kind of bluey silver tones, which is pretty. This is their eyeshadow palette. Probably not something I would gravitate towards, but I think it is really pretty. What I love about Zoeva products is they're always so super affordable. You can get them on Beauty Bay, which always ships worldwide. So these are lip crowns, which go with the collection, and they look like they might be a matte finish. So these are their makeup brushes. They normally come in a pouch, but these ones are in boxes for some reason, which is a bit different. First thing I do when I get brushes is smell them because I absolutely love the smell of a new brush. So nice, it makes me salivate. Now I'm weird, super weird. I love these little brushes, that's their 228 Luxe Crease Brush. It's just kind of like a navy black, and a matte finish, thin handles with a deep kind of coppery engraving on the brushes, which is really nice. It feels super luxe. If there's anything you particularly want to see more in depth of, you want to see in a tutorial, let me know which products you would like to see in the comment section below. So I think as of next week, I might start uploading my Halloween videos, which is exciting. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see in advance what you can expect to see from Halloween. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I can't call it a tutorial, it's an unboxing video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you missed last week's tutorial, it'll be on screen for you now. I will see you next week for some Halloween fun. Bye.